Oh, we're gonna use Albuquerque. We gotta get rid of Lieutenant Cooper. He will be a problem. Let him go away, and we'll use Albuquerque to Miami. Got it? That's the only way. He's gotta go. Albuquerque's lead detective, Lieutenant Chris Cooper, identifies what's left of his son, Christian Cooper, a 26-year-old male. After he lost control of his four super cab truck at the S-curve on southbound I-25 last night, just before 2 a.m. Oh my god! Hi Chris, this is Michelle. Hey, how are you doing? Man, I really need your help. Yeah, it's gotten bad here. I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I'll make you Lieutenant Governor, Chief of Security, whatever it wants, but I need you back here, man. In other news, Lieutenant Chris Cooper returns to his post of 24 years as lead detective at the Albuquerque Police Department's Eubank substation. Lieutenant Cooper took an early retirement after his son was killed in a fatal vehicle crash on I-25. Stay right there. Stay right there. Oh my god. Jenny, Jenny, do you copy? This is Coop. Meet me on tech two. Jesus. Yeah. Jenny, do me a favor. I've got uh, I've got a 459 DUI here. Um, we're gonna have to do this covertly. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing him to the back of the substation. Repeat the back of the substation. Do you copy? 10-4. Ten four. I'm gonna transport right now. Get everything ready. We'll be there in five minutes. I have a 2004 Mercury Sable that's needing to be impounded immediately. Stat. Cooper, aboard all safety vehicles. Cooper has this. Cooper has this. Going to the substation in Ebay. Roger, out. Cooper's here with a DWI suspect. Let's go. Let's go get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Incoming call from Miami, Florida. Incoming call from Miami, Florida. Hey, Billy. Awesome, guys. Hi, hey Jenny, hey Billy. We all know the situation here. This guy is a long-term uh, family member. Got into a little trouble, so I need to do this kind of backdoor-wise. I'd appreciate your respect and your uh, your, your loyalty toward me uh, on this, okay? So I just kind of need you here as witnesses. We're going to put him in a tank for two days, let him sleep this off. Um, he's got a story. He's been through hell. Uh, I just need to keep him kind of on the wraps and let make sure that nobody knows he's here, okay? I should have cuffed you, but I'm not going to. All right, these are my these are my friends, Jenny and Billy. Let us come on, just come on this way. Come on, sorry. Go on, kind of go. Kind of steer me here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Come on, come on. We're just gonna put him in tank two for have him sleep it off for a couple nights. Right down there to the right there. He needs about 48 hours to get that slept off. All right, super. Okay, good. Excellent.
45 minutes, Jenny. I'm gonna go interrogate Teeter. Hold on. Tower has located the governor's memo. Looks like about three minutes. What? Oh, great. That's just one. Just what we freaking need right now. All right. some promotion potential because I know you you can do well. Okay, right. no, okay, that's good. Good to hey, see you, good sir, to see you, Coop. How are you? you? Well, and uh, I'm doing well. Uh, I came back. Obviously, we Did got you? some issues. Do you? I expected uh, Michelle, but uh, I guess you're her pony for now. Yeah. How's the election? I think things are going to go pretty yeah, well. Yeah, I think they're going really well. I'm hearing the polls are doing fantastic. You know, I don't put too much in the polls. But, you know, I also press the flesh every if once in a while. If anybody can pull it off, you can. Right. Uh, you want a briefing? I got, uh, sure. I got some good news and some bad news, basically. All right, well, but, uh, give it to me any way you I want. I wanted to give you something. We do have something new that's cracked the case. And um, this gray car, we've got uh, identification on a gray car. They got stopped at the border uh, last time through for some COVID papers. So they had to delay their trip, put them in a daytime type of mode instead of a nighttime drop. Okay, all right. We do believe uh, the gray car is the run car, uh, and that person gets dropped here. Miami, Florida yeah. seems to be the destination spot. But uh, we might have a lead on this gray car. But that's all I know for now. That's but this all is you a, know. This is pathetic. I mean, oh, uh, man. we're watching him, obviously. We remember him from okay. about four years ago. Okay. But uh, right. there's an MO here, obviously, that they're following. But uh, okay. I know Michelle wants this stop. But, yes, uh, we I need can, to put a stop to it. We can make it look good for you, too, as well. So oh, that's absolutely. what we know for now. I mean, right. I know well, she wants to do these personals. But gosh, I'd like to do it on the phone if we could. But I guess. Yeah, no, we got to do it. We got to do it the right way. You know, we got to get the word out. We got to get the word on the street. We got to solve these cases. These cases, every single one of them. This, uh, this looks like number five, and this is the great car that we're. Okay. It's a mom and daughter type of thing, but I think we're on to something. Um, okay. Actually, I'm working on something that might be pretty big. So. All right. In the next day or two, I'll let you know. You gotta keep me posted. I should All right. Michelle, my friend. It's good to see you. Good to see All you, right. man. I, right. I'm back for this, and I don't know how long I'm here for, but I'm back for this. I mean, Michelle wanted this done, All right. so. But we need you, man. We need you. Yeah, we, uh, we need it solved. We need you in Santa Fe. All right. Well, I, I need uh, I need you back. Well, you get the word out. We'll see what we'll, we can do about it. All right. All right. Good to see you. Man. All right. Good, Good to see you. See you. Hey. Yeah. Uh, by the way, can I use your restroom? Sure. Oh yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Really. <laughs> no one will ever know. Governor! Hello! How are you? Good. My name is uh, Lieutenant Governor Shane Carson, and you might be? I'm Michael Teeter. Michael Teeter. Oh, interesting. Huh? I heard you're running for office. I am. I'll be running for governor. I appreciate your vote. We got you. You got our vote. Thank you for the support with the GLBT community. Oh, sure. No problem. Well, I appreciate it. All, all right. right. Thank you. Michael Teeter. Thank you for okay. all you do. Thank you. All right, nice to meet you. You too. Oh, hey, Lieutenant. How hey, are you? Good to see you. So uh, we'll see you in a couple days for another briefing. All right. You got it. I expect right. a good one. Well, you know, we're going to work in. We got, we got something going. We got a good lead. All right. We'll see you. Say hi to the governor for me. Will do. See you, Coop. See you, LT. Finally got rid of that lieutenant. 
lieutenant governor and all that BS. God, these people. Bro, man, I don't know. I don't know whether to hug you or kick you or live an ass for what you did in the last couple days. Cooper, I'm sorry. Ah, man. What I put myself through, I had to, I had to sneak these clothes in here. Uh, and now, I mean, everybody knows. It's like, God dang. So anyways, we got to make this somewhat official. Um, I, I've got to interrogate you, even though you are who you are. We have a long history together. Uh, I'm concerned about something, but this gray car you keep talking about when... Uh, I mean, what's going on with this gray car? I was drunk and I hit it. You're sure you hit a gray car? Yes. Michael, you are two and a half times the legal limit of alcohol, man. I'm positive. Tell I me was, what happened. The other wrong. passenger was yelling at me. A passenger? So there were, who was in the car when you hit it? Some lady and a girl. I don't know who they were. And did you hurt them? Or, so you just drove off after hitting them? That's when I, I found you over here. I was scared. Hey, I didn't, I didn't even know. know. I didn't even know any of this. When I found you over here and made the arrest, you'd already hit these people. Okay, so this gray car. Tell me about this gray car. I drove right into it, and then I swerved, and I got scared, and I ran, and I drove off. Okay, and so you didn't go down to Eubank. You were drunk. Uh, I was on the side street. I didn't want to deal with all the other cars on the busy streets. I was on the side street. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let me do this. If uh, what you're telling me is true, your car would be uh, evidence of your car uh, smashing. So you hit this car hard enough to do damage to your car? I, I don't know, I, I, right. I can't remember. <clears throat> Jenny, you there? You copy? Hey, Jenny. Hey, do me a favor, I need, uh, I need the, the police impound car, the whereabouts location uh, of uh, Michael Teeter's car. It was towed in two days ago, I had you towed in. Yeah, police impound lot, DUI lot. It was uh, Tuesday. All right, thanks. All right, I'm going to. Uh, what would you, uh, if what you're telling me is true, the evidence of the car will show uh, you smashed it pretty good. Because when I saw you there, there was blood everywhere. I didn't look to look on the other side of the car. Yeah, Jenny. What? What do you mean it's stolen? What do you mean? What do you mean it's gone? I don't freaking believe it. Are you, are you sure? Who would steal this freaking car? Well, get to the bottom of it. I want everybody on this. I want, I want the video cameras. I want everybody on duty that night. Like, nobody steals a car out of impound. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not upset with you. This is unbelievable. Get on it right away and get back to me as soon as you can. Uh, all right. Thanks. Oh, my God. They stole your freaking car, Teeter. Who steals a freaking car out of him? This is starting to get a little. They stole my car. This is starting to get a little freaking freaky here, man. I tell you what. They stole my can car. Can you take me to where you had your accident? Do you know where this is? Yes. It's the only thing left. Hey. Can you take me there? Yes, if I see it, I can remember. All right, we're gonna go there. Um, listen, and just off the record, this is calm down. This is too much going on at one time. Off the record, uh, yes, you and Christian had a relationship. Uh, I miss him. I miss him more than. I, I, I don't even know why I'm back here. I, I just can't believe that I'm back, but Michelle just begged me to come back. This is just turning into something I don't really want to know the end of it, because I don't think this is going to end too well. But, uh, I miss him so much. It's just like, we got to go, uh, we got to go find this car. Get yourself together. Let's, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get a car. And um, like I said, keep this to yourself. We got to get, get this done. This is serious. Very serious. Mike, I need you to stay in the car. I know this looks interesting. I know you, I got your story, but I need you to just stay put. Just stay put, okay? Just calm down and stay put. Yes, sir. All right, yes. Well, I've got a real strange situation here. Very strange. Uh, I, I've known this gentleman for a while. We got a completely different take on this thing. And I'm telling you right now, I'm looking at a 2013 Mazda. Let me get this VIN number to you, ending in 5570. Confirm that for me. Roger that. So uh, it looks like this is the vehicle that uh, has been, been used. Well, 
What's going on over here, man? Well, I'm, 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 uh, I'm concerned about this vehicle. Do you own this vehicle? Uh, yes, sir. I own this car. Why? What's the problem? What's going on well, over just, here? Just calm down. It's, uh, it might be had uh, been in a situation here. What, what have, kind have, of situation? Well, have you owned, how long have you owned the vehicle, I sir? bought it brand new, yeah. Okay. Do you have any paperwork on this uh, by chance? Yeah, yeah. matter of fact, I just got my okay. registration Hold off on sending, hold off on sending any here. backup. Hold on on sending any backup. Yeah, may I see those? Uh, sure. There you go. Everything's there. Do you, have any, do you have any proof here, John? Can we check up? Can I see some identification? Oh, uh, sure, man. I got an ID right here. So this car was never in an accident? It's never been in an accident. Why? Who said it was? What's going on? There's my ID right there. Okay, well, just calm down, sir. I know this is a little yeah, more funny. Well, I mean, I can press All right, Mr. Pacheco. Uh, this does appear to be in order. Uh, yeah, everything's there. Okay, well, uh, I'll be right back. Can you uh, just hang loose for just a sure, moment? Sure, sure. I'll be right here if you need me. I don't know what to think anymore. I should have never even come back. I got two different stories, one car. It's freaking unbelievable. I don't know what to think anymore. I know I hit it. Uh, I know I hit it. I was there. What, I what, hit the car. This is what I'm, I, I gotta go. This is what I'm, de this is what I'm dealing with. I hit the car. All right, Cooper, I don't know. I don't know, Teeter. I don't know what to think, man. I really don't. I got drunk and I hit the car. You're sure that's the damn car? Yes, it was the car. Okay, because I'm putting my ass on the line here, man. It's the car. I know it's the car. This is Cooper. I'm 1014 from substation for 20 minutes. Situation 1014. Cooper 1014. My, are you, I, this is it, man. I'm putting my ass on the line here for you, man. I'm putting my. Ah, what the hell? What, what is this? What do you mean, my son? My son, what? That's a note. What note? That's a note. That's a note. Oh my god! 